President Biden is here in San Diego right now. He landed at Naval Air Station North Island in Coronado right around noon. It's a visit that's going to see him unveil a historic deal for submarines with the UK and Australia. And Fox 5 has team coverage. Liberty Zabala is standing by and she'll explain more about this deal. But first, our Jamie Chambers is live at NAS North Island and he starts us off. Hi, Jamie. Hi, guys. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a sight to see to see the Air Force One land, just the power, the, the it's significant power in the United States landing here in Coronado at North Island. This is a, a Boeing VC-25A, and I, everybody gets giddy when they see such a powerful, essentially 747 land here. But it was an extraordinary touchdown. You see all the military folks are here. They're all taking pictures and enjoying the visit from the president. He's here for quite a busy afternoon. Uh, take a look at as he gets off the Air Force One. You can see he's all the Secret Service. The motorcade is pulled up, and it just is such a show of force that even the military, all the the uh, officers, service, all get excited to see the the Commander in Chief land here in San Diego. So he has quite a busy itinerary as he bounces bounces now to. Uh, Point Loma to speak with the UK Prime Minister and the Australian uh, uh, Prime Minister as well. Then he's going to be headed to speak with uh, Todd Glory about uh, four o'clock this afternoon before making his way all the way to uh, Rancho Santa Fe for a fundraising dinner this evening, capping the night over somewhere in Del Mar for a DNC meeting, the Democratic National Convention folks all in town speaking to President Biden as he visits here. He hasn't been here since October, but certainly a lot of excitement here from the, the sailors and the Marines stationed at North Island. And there it is, back here live once again, Air Force One. It is quite a sight to behold. It is more impressive even in person than just on television, but uh, it's, it's also fun to see all the troops gathered around but that really is uh, the very latest here at uh, North Island uh, Naval Station. And we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Yeah, yeah certainly mm -hmm. an exciting sight to see and uh, a lot more to talk about here when it comes to the president. Jamie, thank you. Let's go now to Fox 5's Liberty Zabala. She is live at Naval Base Point Loma. And she explains why the three countries say this deal will help keep all of them safe. Hi, Liberty. Good afternoon, Maria and Andrew. Yes, it's a historic deal, and we are waiting for the president who is expected to join the prime ministers of Australia and the UK here. You can see where they set up the podiums here and the flags of the three countries behind me, as well as several U.S. Navy sailors. Now, right over on this side, you may be able to see USS Missouri, which is a Virginia class nuclear powered attack submarine and it's these types of submarines that these three countries are expected to sign an agreement to share and produce to build up their naval forces in the Indo-Pacific region. Now the deal is known as the AUKUS deal, a strategic partnership between the US, UK and Australia to develop fleets of nuclear powered attack submarines. Now these subs will be used by the three countries, part of an effort to counter China's military military buildup and aggression in contested waters. Now, under the deal, Australia will first buy up to five of these submarines from the U.S., then from the U.K. before Australia starts making their own. Now, nuclear submarines can stay underwater longer and travel farther than other subs without surfacing. Now, China has argued that the deal threatens peace and exacerbates nuclear proliferation, but these countries say the aim of this partnership is to counter China as it bolsters its own Navy to expand its territorial claims. Now, the three countries also plan to work together to produce these submarines and train together. Well, the Virginia class is much more modern. Uh, if you think about the 688 class, it was designed principally in the 70s, um, manufactured for, you know, through the 70s, 80s, and into the 90s. The Virginia class was designed in the 80s and 90s and manufactured in the late 90s. So 20 years difference in technology at least. So much more modern, uh, much more capable. 
and we are expecting the three leaders here shortly to start addressing the audience. But meanwhile, we also know that President Joe Biden is expected to meet with local San Diego leaders such as Mayor Todd Gloria at San Diego International Airport after this trilateral meeting later this afternoon. For now, live here at Naval Base Point Loma, Liberty Zavala, Fox 5 News. All right, Liberty, this is not something we see all that often to have a president visit. It's always a special thing here, you know, especially so far from Washington. Tell us about the setup there and how long it takes to get everything prepared to not only have the leader of our country, but the leader of two others as well. Well, Andrew, I can tell you the security involved in making this type of event go smoothly is very intensive. Just from us being able to report here, we had to go through security starting as early as five in the morning. So several hours of press as well as military and others had to be here just to organize this, this stage and event for the president and these three leaders. And we have been waiting and and we're still waiting for the president to speak here tonight or to this afternoon. So uh, hopefully uh, the president will join us here shortly and we can hear more about this deal. Uh, but it does take several hours for this to get underway. I'll send it to you in the studio. Quite a bit of preparation. Yeah, I, right. and not only that, but uh, mil uh, uh, members of the, mil uh, the media, I should say, not the military, yes. the, the media from around the world, frankly, right? Mm -hmm. From the UK and from Australia too, I imagine. All right, Liberty, thanks very much. We'll check in with you in a little bit. This is uh, the president's first visit to San Diego since November. And President Biden is expected to deliver remarks from San Diego around 2 o'clock this afternoon. And you can watch it live right here on Fox 5.